Hello, Fairless. Today is Friday, October 12th, and, and this is Falcon, Falcon Media. Media. On today's show, we have seniors featuring Maddie Page, football highlights, Manchester, pets featuring Gracie Pekarik, Falcon Feud, the Chambliss Twins, girls golf, sectional highlights, Fairless has talent, Mary Hamill, soccer trivia, boys soccer highlights, guess that movie, choir concert, smarter than a fifth grader, and seniors featuring Josh Wangard. This week's Senior of the Week is... Fatty Page. After high school, I plan on attending Walsh or Malone University to um, get my major in nursing and then minor in psychology. My favorite high school memory is probably prom. I'm involved in cheerleading and volleyball. I've done cheer for 10 years and volleyball for like six or seven, I think. Uh, yeah, I do, Johnny.
What kind of pets do you have? I have two bearded dragons, a Rottweiler lab mix, and a pit bull. What are their names? Tootsie is the red pit bull, Sophie is the Rottweiler lab mix, Jinx and Brisket are my dragons. How long have you had each of them? Tootsie I've had for about five years, Sophie it's been a little longer, more towards eight, and we just got the dragons a few months ago. What's the funniest thing they do? I've caught Jinx and Brisket doing like this Muppet thing where they just leave their mouths open or they'll do the wave. Oh, and it's so, so cute. It is the cutest thing ever. And then Tootsie sometimes lays upside down. It's just the cutest thing ever. And then Sophie is dubbed Psycho Puppy because she just runs around everywhere. She's super neurotic, super cute. So she's Psycho Puppy. Aww. What is your favorite memory with each of them? I think with Jinx, it's when he tried to eat me by licking my thumbnail. Or when he curled up on my chest and fell asleep. And with Tootsie, just any time we fell asleep together. Same thing with Sophie. Sometimes she would curl up with me and Tootsie. How did you name them their names? Jinx was named after a band member from Blackville Brides named Jinx. Brisket, that's my dad. Ask him. <laughs> Tootsie, I named her after the Tootsie Roll because she's a brown color. And then Sophie was named after an actress. Do you have any nicknames for any of your pets? Uh, even though Jinx is probably going to end up being a boy, I still say Mama Jinx because it's the joke from the Blackfield Brides band. Tootsie Toots when I have to call her in. Psycho Puppy for Sophie. And then Brisket, not really. No, we haven't dubbed one for him yet. <laughs> Welcome to Falcon Feud with your host, Jared Six. Hello, Fearless. Welcome back to Falcon Feud. Today we have Zach and Lorenzo. Each contestant will be given 25 seconds to answer five questions. The contestant with the most popular answer will receive the higher score and win the game. Okay, Zach, time will start after I ask the first question. If you can't think of anything, just say pass, and I'll revisit the question if I have time. Are you ready? I'm ready. 25 seconds on the clock. Who is the most popular character on the sitcom Friends? Next, pass. Name a country that speaks Spanish. Portugal. Name something that breaks down. Cars. Name a piece of furniture that might be, man that might be handmade. Chair. Tell me whose name a young man might have on his tattoo. Susie. Who is the most popular character on the sitcom Friends? Uh, Janice. <laughs> okay, Lorenzo, time will start after I ask the first question. If you can't think of anything, just say pass, and I'll revisit the question if I have time. Are you ready? Got it. 25 seconds on the clock. Who is the most popular character on the sitcom Friends? Mm, pass. Name a country that speaks Spanish. Uh, Mexico. Name something that breaks down. Cars. Name a piece of furniture that might be handmade. Chairs. Tell me whose name a young man might have on his tattoo. Brittany. Who is the most popular character on the sitcom Friends? No clue. Still have time. I have no childhood, so I don't know. Oh, that's sad. I'm on Friends. Okay, Zach and Lorenzo, let's see how you did. What's up with you? <laughs> it's working. I sat there. Well, what you? What, what was going through your head when you tried to make yourself think? Crying for a good reason. Um, Let me tell you that. What was going through my head? Was Did like, you take an L? I was like, I gotta make myself cry. He took an L. You right? They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. The winner of this week's Falcon Feud is Lorenzo with 99 points. How many freaking points did I have? 77. What screwed me, Portugal? <laughs> um, that and Janice and <laughs> Janice Susie. and Susie. Janice. You couldn't think of a more basic name than Brittany. <laughs> you calling Janice Brittany. basic? I'm pretty sure I'm calling Janice basic. Oh not, dear. Not any Janices that might. Uh, go to school here or may work here. I'm just the name in general. Um, you lost, I won. Run. Miss Courtney, you're not basic. That's all for today. You. <laughs> See you next week on Falcon Fuse. <laughs>
How long have you been doing impressions? I have been doing these impressions since my eighth grade year. How did you find out you could do impressions? I was actually kind of bored one day and my chickens and goats were annoying me, so I decided to yell back at them. How many impressions can you do? Well, I can do a chicken and a goat one pretty good, but and I've been attempting to do a rooster's crow. But that one's still kind of sketchy. <laughs> Do your animals talk back? Yes, they do. The goats anyways. The chickens are constantly like clucking. Kind of turns into like a screaming competition. <laughs> How many seniors are on the boys soccer team? A5, B3, C2, or D0? 2. Three. Five. Two. I'm gonna say three. Two. Uh, three. The answer is B. How many people in all play on the field? A14, B11, C22, or D10? Ten. ten. I'm gonna say ten. C. Eleven. I'm gonna go with uh, C22. C. 22. Eleven each team. The answer is C. How many points is each goal worth? A2, B3, C1, or D4? Two. One. One. C. I'm going to say C1. Mm, I'm going to say C1. I'm going to go with C and one. The answer is C. Who is the only player on the field that is allowed to touch the ball with their hands? A goalie, B referee, C midfield, or D centers? Goalie. Goalie. Goalie? A. Um, I'm going to say the goalie, which is A. A. The answer is A. Airless Boys Soccer versus Loudonville. Great run by Kyle Hunter, resulting in a corner kick. Good header by Kyle Hunter. Goal by Owen Anstein. Going into halftime, the Falcons were up one to nothing. Falcons get a free kick with less than five minutes left. Owen Anstein with the second goal of the night. Falcons beat the Redbirds 2 to 1. Got everything I need right here with me. I figure life's a gift and I don't intend on wasting it. Titanic. It was Titanic. <laughs> Titanic. 
Titanic. <laughs> Titanic. Spielberg presents Back to the Future, a Robert Zemeckis film. Marty leads an ordinary life. No McFly ever amounted to anything in the history of Hill Valley. Well, history is going to change. Back to the Future. It literally says it. Okay. Back to the Future. <laughs> Back to the Future. Back to the future. That's the thing that killed my men. Alien. That's all you get. Uh, something aliens? Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure on that. That's all you get. Oh, is that a... Predator? Yeah. Ooh, okay. Predator. <laughs> There's a reason we're supposed to be afraid of this night. I've been preparing for this for a long time. It is not safe to be on the street tonight. Halloween. I'm going to go with Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Probably Friday the 13th. Yeah, let's chase that too. Well, that is not right. It isn't? No. Oh, I know what this is. Um, is this a new Saw movie? A new, uh, wait, wait. Uh, I feel like you can get this one. Are you scream? I don't even know, man. Okay. Oh, Friday the 13th. Are you serious? No, it's not it. What was it? Halloween. What state is the Grand Canyon in? California, Arizona, North Dakota, or New Mexico? California. Incorrect? Can I have the other options? California, Arizona, North Dakota, New Mexico. Arizona. Right. Arizona. Correct. Arizona. Oh, Utah. Oh, Buzz, Utah. Utah. No. Utah. I said Buzz, Utah. That's cheating. <laughs> uh, incorrect for both yeah, of you. Arizona. Arizona. <laughs> Carefully is an example of what w type of word? Adjective, noun, verb, adverb. Bing. Thing. <laughs> Adverb. Correct. Adjective. Incorrect. Adverb. Correct. Beep. Adverb. Correct. Bye, bye. Adverb. Oh. No, this is <laughs> I'm getting the answer. <laughs> well, the one I was just wrong, but you still copied it. <laughs> sure, I'm sure you know. <laughs> Which word contains a long vowel sound in the following sentence? Dogs like tennis balls. Bing. Like <laughs> balls, incorrect. Just likes, correct. <laughs> balls, likes. Yeah. Oh, buzz. Like, correct. How many feet are in a yard? Two, twelve, thirty-two, or three? Wait, what was it? Two, twelve, thirty-two, and three. Three. Yes, correct. Three. Correct. If you're in a yard. So if you're gonna do inches. Thirty-six. Three. three, yeah. Three. Five. Three. Three is correct. If you fly from California to Connecticut, how many time zones have you passed through? Two. Two. Two, Two is incorrect. Three. Three. Correct. <laughs> So, Pat, you're going to pass through two, but you're actually going to go through three. Yeah. Bye. Three. Three is correct. Final scores, Kelly five, Evan zero, Logan three, Justin two, Schultz five, Sarv zero, Posty three, Miss Trip two.
Oh, my favorite memory would probably be whenever we uh, had this paint war kind of thing. We uh, uh, we had a bunch of like water balloons filled with paint, and then just had like squirt bottles of paint, and just like had a big war with paint. Greg. Uh, a long time, probably like elementary, like early middle school, right, Craig? Yeah, yeah probably then. Well, I plan on uh, pursuing a career in criminal justice. Uh, going home at the end of the day. Don't take things too seriously. Uh, yeah, I'm in bands. Quite a few bands. Not it anymore. Yeah. My name's Diane Yoder. Uh, she graduated when I was a freshman, so a while ago. She's pretty cool. It feels pretty good, but then pretty bad at the same time because I gotta wait six more months to leave indefinitely. I don't want to wait that long.
And that's all for today, Fairless. See you next week on Falcon Media. Media.